What is up, you bunch of savages? There are a helicopter there, and there's one over here, and they are looking at something in particular. So I'm over here by Fair Park, and we are exactly a week away from State Fair of Texas opening. And so that means it is the day that they put up Big Tex. Let's say hi to Big Tex for the first time in 2019. Whoop! There's the banners that are up all over the city. They're getting making ready everywhere. Yeah. Helicopter chop 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 there. Another one right there. Chop 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 chop. It's always nice to be down here anyway before they start the fair just to watch all the work that goes into it. Yep. I can, you can see the crane right there. When we get past these trees, we'll be able to see them. Here's the State Fair of Texas map for 2019. Oh my goodness. Yep, can't wait. Whoop. There's the first glim glimpse of Tex right there. What's up, bro? He's already up, yeah. Howdy, folks. This is Big Tex inviting you to the State Fair of Texas. He he. But I'm about to show you a dude, Jay, since you're down there, you probably never met before. The, probably the world's tallest cowboy. There's a big text right there. Dang, bro. Yep. It's big text. Howdy, folks, and all that stuff. There he is. They haven't got his boots on yet, so I haven't seen the boots. Well, the boots are laying right over here. There was a, uh, a contest, and a particular lady who won the contest uh, painted some Texas themed stuff and she won so they painted up the boots. There's a left boot as it says on the bottom. They should have they should have written Andy on the bottom of that boot. That would have been awesome. There's a snake writing stuff on my boot. I'm going to show the vlog what I have to deal with with the uh, thing suffering through the buffering. How about that? There's plenty of folks here to see. There's Channel 11 News there. There's kids dressed as text. There's a little text right there. What's up little text? They don't have the uh, the crane attached anymore. You're on your own, bro. So this is channel five over here. From this angle, it looks like he's doing some kind of kung fu or something. I see the cameraman getting a close-up of her shoes and I realize she's got Fletcher's 20 dog shoes on. Oh my God. Awesome. Our state fair is a great state fair. Don't miss it, don't even be late. If you've not seen the 1962 version of state fair, uh, it's a Rogers and Hammerstein. Uh, I believe they have a 1945 version, but the 1962 version, some of the stuff was actually filmed here at this uh, this uh, grounds, Fair Park. Um, these buildings here, uh, I've shown in other vlogs before, but these are some Art Deco buildings. Uh, and I believe it's the either number one or number two biggest collection of Art Deco buildings in the world. And uh, these were built in 1936. There's um, loads over there and uh, there is a link to Six Flags Over Texas basically sort of well first off the initials are the same SFOT Six Flags Over Texas SFOT State Fair of Texas and you can go to these porticos that are over here there are six and there are these statues female statues at each one and then each is a portico named after one of the flags that flew over so it's got all the, the six republics there are six countries and flags that have flown over Texas of course just like six flags over Texas what it started as I mean so it's got Spain France uh, Mexico uh, Republic of Texas Confederate States and the United States but anyway going back to our state fair is the great state fair a lot of people agree uh, agree that it is the greatest of all the state fairs that it is the best the biggest the best everything about it so um, if you have a better one kudos to you I won't be visiting it I don't need to I've got this one but I've actually driven people from the airport as an Uber uh, that they're, they're coming in for the fair and I'm like really you came from out of state from the fair and they're like yeah I'm like so you used to live here nope we just know where the best state fair is so pretty awesome I'm quite proud of it you know how us Texans are they're bringing one part of one of the boots up that's the right boot the front part of it anyway by the way, while I'm sitting here waiting for the boots, let me teach you a little something about the fair. A little something a lot of people don't realize. They're like, I can't wait to get one foot long corn dog. Okay, they got foot long corn dogs right here. Straight up says it on the thing. Foot long corn dogs right there. If you want a foot long corn dog, get one. Go ahead. I'm not gonna stop you. 
But over there where I've been talking and talking about Fletchers, they don't do footlongs. So if you're getting a footlong corn dog at the fair, you're not getting the original Fletcher's corn dog, and that matters. Now, another thing, I grew up with a certain flavor of the uh, Fletcher's. Some years ago, they changed the wiener, the sausage, the hot dog, whatever you want to call it, inside. And um, so I tell this every year. If you want the original flavor, if you're one of those people that are like, what, what, what's changed? Something's changed over the years. They went to sort of a peppered sausage instead of like a, a hot dog, hot dog. And so on the, um, I'll go around there and I'll show you. Hold on real quick. All right, I'm over here by the uh, Fletcher's booth. And this guy's doing a painting. I don't know, very nice, look at that. But right here, original corny dog, and then two down, it says bird dog and the parentheses turkey. That's the one, get that one and you'll get the flavor, the old flavor that you're missing. I just noticed this belt buckle as well. It's a 2019 belt buckle. Sweet. They are getting everything ready. Yeah. Load it up on the forklift, y'all. Yep. This little guy's got a little, a little tags. He's a little tags, and that's even littler tags. <laughs> Now the final piece. Oh, looks like somebody's gonna have to do their job over at the online coupon pickup. They've got last year's map. Yikes, you need 2019, man. Did it. Good job, dudes. They got the back part of that left boot in place. Well, not in place, but they got it up there so they don't need the uh, forklift anymore. And then they were just like, lunch time. So this one isn't together, but you can see the art. Got the yellow rose there. Looks like they've got bats that are possibly flying out of caves or something. They got cactus, oil rigs, squirting oil. What else? Let's go to the other side and see what's doing. Looks like both looks like both boots may be the same because right there I can see um, looks like the space shuttle launching and on this one right here looks like the same thing. So if you've seen one boot, you've seen them all, or you've seen both. But there's also double horseshoes right inside that right boot there. Looks like they've got blue bonnets on the shape of Texas surrounded in rope. And there is a facade of Alamo there armadillo right down there it's like a texas flag around the front yeah texas flag in the front there's some on the the boot on our left it looks like the top of the texas flag there is some kind of a palm tree type thing i can't really tell but on the other one they're horseshoes and it looks like spurs or a spur on the other one there with some chili peppers down below Pretty cool, and stars on the uh, top of the foot. Pretty nice. But you'll probably agree, I thought this from the get-go, I'm like, why does he look stubby? It's because they got the boots going up to where his knees would be. They need to make them a little smaller, actually. But they went down. I think so. And behind him over there, if you look in way back there, just above the tree line, there's kind of a little text back there. That is the uh, Centennial Liquor Store sign that's been a Dallas icon forever that I you know my whole life anyway and it's a neon light and they brought it here a couple few years ago and uh, there it is and it, it is always meant to be to look like big text they've got a little little big text over here he's talking I missed it I guess they don't have his jaw wired up maybe they were just testing so that means they must have it pre-recorded now instead of uh, somebody on the mic live when I was growing up, they had somebody on the mic live while they had the, the mouth moving. All right, so there's there's big text, y'all. So who's gonna be coming out to the fair? I know I am. And I'll see y'all there. Y'all stay savage.